Okay, initial jobless claims are dropping right now. Uh, 4.4 million from last week. So 4.4 million people filing for initial jobless claims uh, last week. That brings the total uh, for about 26 million uh, over the last four weeks. So just really unbelievable and staggering numbers that we see. Uh, continuing claims, um, le less than estimated though. I mean, if we're going to look for any kind of bright spot, but nonetheless, uh, jobless claims up by about 4.4 million. Uh, joining me now to break it all down is Bloomberg's economic and policy correspondent, Michael McKee, uh, as well as um, uh, Greg Peters, PGM Fixed Income Head of Multi-Sector and Strategy. Um, hey, Mike, walk us through just sort of any nuances we need to know for initial jobless claims as we've been talking about on Morning, we know these are going to be bad. Well, we knew they were going to be bad, but uh, most of the pig is through the python now, if you can say that, about four and a half million people claiming uh, jobless benefits. Uh, we saw a big, big, obviously, rush in the first couple weeks of the month, and now uh, we seem to be getting to the point where things are slowing down and Americans are getting their applications in. States are clearing some backlogs, but still, 4,427,000 is a lot of jobless claims. It would have been a head shaker if we hadn't had the previous weeks of seven millions. Uh, we're looking at continuing claims starting to really rise now as we uh, as people get into this uh, system, and that's kind of where you're going to want to put the focus in the future. Uh, right now, it looks like 15 million 976 thousand. Um, they're a week delayed, so that'll go over 20 million probably next week. Those are the people who are continuing to get jobless claims benefits, which will tell us how many people are out of work and staying out of work uh, for the time being. The advanced uh, seasonally adjusted insured unemployment rate, this is the unemployment rate of people who are getting benefits, is now 11 percent. That is an all-time high. I, I, no, no surprise there, Alex, that we're seeing these kind of superlatives with this many people out of work this quickly. I know we, we hear it and we say it, but then when you think about it, it just becomes so staggering. Uh, Greg, how do you look at the economy right now and take a view on the markets? When the equity markets are telling you we're in a V-shaped recovery, but the data is just seeming to begin to trough here when it comes to, say, jobless claims. Yeah, it's a very interesting time. I, what I think the data uh, that's currently coming out is, quite frankly, meaningless. Uh, and as a consequence, um, as an investor, you almost have a free pass um, in that uh, what uh, markets and you know, everyone's really trying to determine is, um, uh, you know, what does a reopening look like and what's the consequences of that reopening uh, on the economy? And uh, my belief is that the equity market is pricing in um, a very aggressive, positive reopening, where I think the credit markets and bond market uh, is, is much more kind of measured in that respect. So uh, investors are very much in the dark. It's uncharted territory, and we're taking this opportunity where the data is meaningless to get the all clear, which could be a more dangerous uh, path uh, going forward. 